All right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I want to welcome my colleagues who are members of this committee and are present today. We have Councilmember Gibson, Barron, Constantinides, Lansman, Levin, Reynoso, Richards, Torres, Traeger, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera, and Deutsch. I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams and Acting Chair Deutsch for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting on a number of items referred out of our subcommittees. We'll be voting to approve LU 143, the application by Vida Mexicana doing business as Papacito for a revo revocable consent to operate a sidewalk cafe at 223 Dykeman Street in Councilmember Rodriguez District in Manhattan. We'll be voting to approve LUs 154, the application to designate the Colony Island Regalman Broadwalk in Councilmember Traeger's district as a scenic landmark. Congratulations, Councilmember Traeger. The designation consists of the Broadwalk extending from West 37th Street in Colony Island to Brighton 15th Street in Brighton Beach, including the beachfront Broadwalk, a structure, walkway, comfort station, railing, beaches, light fixtures, steps, and ramps to the beach. Steeplechase Pier and the beach beneath the Broadwalk extending from the north edge of the Broadwalk southerly approximately 100 feet into the beach. The Coney Island Broadwalk is one of the best known waterfronts in the world and has given people of all economic and social backgrounds access to the beach since 1923. We'll be voting to approve LUs 158, the NHP Hope Homes Cluster Amendment for property in Councilmember Perkins and Ayala's district. This amendment to a previously approved application is necessary to correct an error in the resolution. The exemption area was identified as one property comprised of Block 1750, Lots 57 and 58. The correction is to identify each property separately as Block 1750, Lot 57, Block 1750, Lot 58. We'll be voting to approve LU 159, the East 90, the, the 490 East 181st Street application for property located in Councilmember Torres District in the Bronx. HPD seeks approval of a new Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law. The subject property is existing is an existing 24-unit residential cooperative building for low-income households with 23 occupied and one vacant unit. The prior tax exemption will be terminated. We'll be voting to approve LUs 160, the 1130 Franklin Avenue tax exemption application for property located in Councilmember Gibson's district in the Bronx. HPD seeks approval of a 40 year, of a new 40 year Article 11 tax exemption for an existing 20 unit co op low income families with 14 occupied and six vacant units. The prior tax exemptions will be terminated. We'll be voting to approve LU 161, the Small Homes Rehab NYCHA SQVH Cluster 2 amendment for property in Councilmember Adams' district. This amendment to a previously approved application is necessary to correct an error in the resolutions. In this case, part of the project area was identified as 147-06 Sutter Place. The correction is identified as 147-06 Sutter Avenue. We will be voting to approve Preconsiders LU Friends Set Apartments for property located at 2911 West 36th Street in Councilmember Traeger's District in Brooklyn. HPD seeks a partial Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 30 years for an existing 259-unit building. The prior tax exemption will be terminated. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Councilmember Traeger. Thank you so much, uh, Chair Salamanca, for your um, unwavering support um, and to all my colleagues uh, on this committee and to the amazing land use staff uh, as well. Um, this is a day that uh, I think many of my colleagues know. I've waited for quite some time. Um, I want to th recognize Councilman Deutsch who uh, worked with me on this uh, issue of landmarking the boardwalk from day one. I just want to thank the thousands of people that signed petitions, organized. Uh, we, this effort was done without a conservancy. This effort was done without a lobbyist. There were, there were no millionaires that banded together to preserve this structure in Coney Island. This was done the old-fashioned grass, grassroots way. And this is a structure, as, as I mentioned in the subcommittee, I want to thank uh, the Landmarks Chair, uh, Adrian Adams, for her support. As I noted there, it's important for my colleagues to also to remember that that space where the boardwalk is on 
it was not always publicly owned and accessible to people. Prior to the boardwalk being constructed, that beach was, was owned by private entities that did not allow uh, all people to enter. There was segregation based on, you know, people of color could not enter certain amenities. Jews could not enter certain hotels. So when the city purchased that land and uh, in, at the turn of the 20th century constructed that boardwalk, it was a symbol of integration, accessibility for all people, regardless of the color of your skin, the faith that you believe in, where you're from, what language you speak, how much money you have. This treasure, this public treasure is for all. And I am just so proud that finally we are joining the ranks of Central Park, Prospect Park. Southern Brooklyn has a beautiful jewel as well, the Coney Island Boardwalk. So I thank my colleagues. I, I ask them please uh, to support this. Uh, the, the council has been so supportive from, from the beginning. We had unanimous support in a resolution. So I just, I just ask my colleagues to please support this. Let's make the Coney Island Boardwalk officially a landmark in New York City. Thank you so much. Congratulations, council member. Uh, any other comments from members of the committee? No, seeing none, I would now call a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local members to approve LUs 143, 154, 158, 159, 160, 161, and bring considers LU friend set apartments. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, on all. Lanceman. Aye. Konstantinidis. Aye. Gordenchik. I and all, but I do want to know, Mr. Chairman, who is Mr. Regelman? That's my question for the day. Congratulations to you, Mark, uh, uh, on this magnificent work for New York City Parks. Thank you. I and all. Gibson. Permission to briefly explain our vote? Council Member Gibson to explain our vote. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. Good afternoon to all of my colleagues. I am voting aye on all items on today's agenda, but I especially want to recognize Council Member Traeger for his relentless and tireless efforts, his passion on behalf of the residents of Southern Brooklyn. Um, I love Coney Island and certainly um, wish you well and continued success. And it's a really a great honor to see the Coney Island Boardwalk recognized as a historical landmark in our great city. So congratulations. Um, hope we're all welcome to join you at at a disco event, silent disco event at Coney Island. That would be great. Um, but I wanted to, in particular, speak uh, in support of land use number 160, which is the 1103 Franklin Avenue Article 11 tax exemption for the next 40 years. This is a small HDFC in the Morrisania community of my district um, that through a lot of challenge is able to maintain their uh, HDFC status. I'm very grateful for the shareholders of 1103 Franklin that came to me some time ago about their passion about working with the city of New York to maintain their equity and I hope that through this article 11 we're able to fill the building because we do have a number of vacancies and I want to recognize the HDFC Coalition for their support, HPD, as well as all the residents of 1103 Franklin. And with that, Mr. Chair, I vote aye on all. And congratulations, colleagues. Congratulations, Councilmember Gibson. Diaz. Aye on all. Barron. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Barron to explain her vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to uh, comment on the Coney Island being landmarked. Uh, as my council colleague has said, Council Member Traeger, it's very important that we not omit significant history as we go through these kinds of landmarks, naming and pre preservation. And I believe that the commission is required to do that kind of investigation and include it in its report. I did not see it in its report, but I do want to commend my colleague for bringing mention during the uh, subcommittee meeting that yes, this was a property, this was an area that conducted discrimination and segregation, and now we are able to say that it is no longer bound by those kinds of uh, restrictions. But I think that it's important to remind the commission that they should do extensive research and include it in their official report so it's a part of the written record. And with that, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Deutsch. Levin. Miller. I vote aye on all. Reynoso. 
Congratulations to Councilmember Traeger and uh, ditto on Barron's speech. Uh, I don't know. Richards. To uh, Councilmember Traeger, uh, we don't have the landmark Rockaway's boardwalk for it to be believed to be the best boardwalk in New York City. Uh, but kudos to you, congratulations uh, on all that I vote aye. Torres. Uh, congratulations, Councilman Traeger, on a legacy achievement. I vote, I happily vote aye on all. Traeger. I think there's no question how I'm voting, but I vote aye on all. Adams. As was said yesterday in the hearing, Councilmember Traeger, uh, kudos to you and congratulations. Of course, Coney Island and the infamous boardwalk is near and dear and should be near and dear to every New Yorker. Congratulations. I do vote aye on all. Moya. Congratulations to uh, our good colleague, uh, Councilmember Traeger, uh, on this uh, endeavor, and uh, I will be voting aye on all. Rivera. Yay, Mark. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. I vote aye on all. I vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. All right, I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and annual staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.